just got to um, Finland on August 24th, 2021. And from that time till now, how would you assess his performance on the job so far? Okay, I, I can say that in the beginning, the development maybe was not so fast. Of course, there was a cultural challenges, differences. Ignatius' background was, of course, totally different. And But I would say that after the first three, four months, things started to go rapidly. And, and it's increasing during the last month or two, last two months, Ignatius has been advancing a lot. stars and welcome to Mantis Eye right here on Ideas Book Media YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today on Mantis Eye, we are doing a follow-up on the inspiring story of Ignatius Asabo, the 22-year-old Nigerian drone maker who was flown to Finland for immediate employment after he got discovered on social media by a Finland drone company called Radar Limited. He arrived Finland on August 24th, 2021, and that day was the beginning of a new chapter for this young, talented Nigerian. But it is worth mentioning that this life-changing opportunity that Ignatius got wouldn't have been possible if the team at Radar Limited had not believed in the stream. That is why today on Matt's Eye, we have the privilege of speaking with the Managing Director of Radar Limited in person of Mr. Ari Satioya. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me for this interview. It's a pleasure for me. Thank you so much for joining us. You gave Ignatius Asambo a life-changing opportunity and he got discovered on social media. But I would like to hear from the horse's mouth. How did you discover Ignatius and what interested you about him? What was that thing that just got you interested about this young um, talent from Nigeria? Okay, the background starts that that we have a partner in Nigeria. We have had it several years. It's a company which is doing or providing geophysical surveys in Nigeria and we started to think that how we could bring the drone-based geophysical surveys to be provided in Nigeria and we were planning that quite a long time and quite soon we realized that it's it's extremely difficult to bring the drones in Nigeria how do we get flight permission pilot registration and security issues and all kind of that and then I was thinking that how about if we change the strategy and Let's try to hire local people, at least one local drone expert, and train him how to use the, our system. And he could do the surveys in Africa, in Nigeria, or in other country in Africa. Mm -hmm. And that's how it changed the strategy that we started to look at. Can we find anyone? Okay, first of all, I didn't find anyone. But then our pilot, Lauri Maal is my he one day told me that he has found in Facebook one interesting guy called Ignatius Asabor, and he showed his pictures how he has been building great planes. And then I contacted Ignatius, and we had a long conversation. It took almost one year before he came here when we started to wow. discuss. Well, it was not so quickly processed, and of course, I didn't know Ignatius. I started to get familiar to him that what he's doing and he be part of our team and that's how it started okay so you've been in communication with ignitus a year before he arrived finland yeah yeah that's true we have a long conversation and in the beginning i didn't even tell about my plans that i would be interested to invite him to finland of course i would like to get familiar to ignatius earlier but see that is he that kind of person what I'm interested in. Little by little, it, we started to talk more and send messages, pictures, and we started to together plan that how he could come here. Have you had any work relationship or partnership with anyone from Africa? Yeah, we have this one partner in Nigeria, but 
I, I have to say that we have not done any commercial business. So basically, I can say that I don't know much about Africa. I don't have so much relations to Africa. So I know that I'm quite brave that I'm going to Africa, even I don't know the culture or continent almost at all. But sure. somehow I'm not so scared because I trust people. Well, if they are educated, they are interested in same subject, same project. It doesn't matter which country you are from. That's very good. I like that. That's very good. So um, you've only interacted with one Nigerian. And like you said before now, you don't really have any serious work relationship with any African. But what would be your perception of Nigerian youth? Yeah, Ignatius has been telling me about Nigeria. Before he came, I didn't know almost nothing. Now I know something. What I know, Nigeria, it's a huge potential. It's a huge country. Is it so that there are over 200 million people? Yes. It's, because here in Finland, it's 5 million. Nigerian youth, I would say that Nigerians seem to be smart. And if you get the education system working really well, you have great mm. potential. And I would say that the internet is all over the place, just like we are now. You are in Nigeria, I'm here, we have an internet connection. Internet is full yeah. of information. How I started Radai with my colleague Arto Karinen, we didn't know about drones or survey system. We started to learn by from internet. Of course, we had a strong theoretical background. We have graduated from university, and the theoretical background helps a lot. So if you have a strong mathematical, physical background, it helps when you're, if you're doing engineering work. He told me that 15 or 16 hours per day, he was just building and generating something. Wow. So I can see that Nigerian youth, there's a huge potential potential if you if the young people focus on those tasks or they are interested and they because there are so much people there are thousands of talent people in your country thank you for that accolades thank you very much this is very insightful and um i don't know for you this might just be an opportunity but to an average african this what you've given to Ignite Church is a life-changing opportunity. You have literally given life to his dream. So what I would like to ask, at the point of giving him this opportunity, did, he, did you ever second-guess your decision? Did you ever doubt your decision to offer him this opportunity? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, of course. And, and even in nowadays, I'm not sure that how this whole process is going to be, but I know that there will be challenges to go into different culture, how, and there are legislation issues. And, and when Ignatius came here, of course, I didn't know him. I have been only talking him with by phone. So, of course, there is a risk that is everything going as planned. But, but one common thing we had... Ignatius and me, we both are interested about drones. We want to build, we want to develop them, and we want to make business with that. And that kind of mutual direction strategy, it helps to solve many problems. So when this news hits the media, a lot of people said it was flown to Finland for an immediate employment opportunity. Do you mind sharing with us the type of employment that was given to him? Is it on contract basis? Is it short-term employment, a long-term employment? What exactly is this opportunity that has been given to Ignatius? Yeah, okay, like, like I told earlier that the big plan, strategic plan, is that I'm, I would like to expand our services, our business to other countries. Like right now, we are operating in Finland and in Sweden, but in some day, I would like to operate in other countries. And Africa, 
operating in Africa is interesting. Some of our customers are already operating there. So that's why it's quite clear that that could be one potential interesting area for us to make a business. And my strategy or idea is that I would like to hire local people. And that process is still going on that I might get also more local people for training and then we could establish a team in some countries. So that's the idea also in for Ignatius that I didn't hire him for Finland to make surveys. Training okay. and then he could learn how to do this same survey in Africa. I just got to um, Finland on August 24th, 2021. And from that time till now, how would you assess his performance on the job so far? Okay, I, I can say that in the beginning, the development maybe was not so fast because the mistake was also our side. We didn't have a clear training program. We know how to use our systems and we just teach task one by one. But we also learned here that we need to be more professional if we want to train people, that how people should be trained. Of course, there was a cultural challenges, differences. Ignatius' background was, of course, totally different and but I would say that after first three, four months, things started to go rapidly and, and it's increasing during last month or two, last two months, Ignatius has been advancing a lot. And I, I have just putting more and more responsibility and tasks to him. So it's, it was a learning curve for Radai also that how we can train new people and we we have developed. So just to wrap up this um, interview, what would be your word of encouragement to millions of Nigerian youth, very skillful, talented Nigerian youth who are waiting for that opportunity that will make them live their dream? Because there are so many talents in Nigeria that are being submerged every day. My one advice or hint is that when, when young people is interested in something, try to collect your team. For example, in Radai, when we established it, I was not able to do it alone, and my friend was not able to do it alone. But when you have a friend, two people or three people, and you are focusing on the same task, same project, then you will get much more results than alone. So my one idea is that how Nigerian young talents could be growing and establishing a companies, try to find same kind of people as you are. And then you are together using your time, developing something. And just like Ignatius did, he was just pushing, pushing things forward several years and someone will know this. But I would, I would say that for Niger, it's, it's not needed to wait that someone outside of Niger is coming to help. You don't need basically help. You can develop the systems on your own. You have internet. If you are well educated or you can educate yourself in even more. So, the, so I would say that be persistent, get other people same kind of as you and use your time, use internet. There is plenty of information there. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. From Ideascope Media, I want to say a very big thank you for the opportunity once again that you have given to Ignatius. Um, you have given a beam of hope to millions of Nigerian youth just by that act. You have given them a ray of hope. You have given them something to look forward to. And, you know, that is just what some people need to get going. And you're giving that to Ignatius. Okay, nice to hear that kind of words. That was not my preliminary or basic idea. That I was just thinking about the business and asking why I asked Ignatius here. But it's great to hear that it came that kind of success and it, it seems that it was much bigger 
news in Nigeria that I was yes. even imagine because I didn't think that project that way that it would be so interesting. But hopefully it will helps young people in Nigeria to be persistent and try to develop on their own more things. And thank yes. you for inviting me to this interview. It has been a thank pleasure you. for me to thank discuss you. with you. Thank you so much for the time. I think we've been in discussion since last year. Yeah. You just kept responding to my messages and, you know, that was really good. Thank you so much for the audience and your time. We really appreciate it. Yeah, it, it was, we have been chatting quite a long time and yeah. the pre preliminary idea is that after Ignatius gets some results, then we can have this meeting and then there's something more what I can even say here that what how how the training has been going and people. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. So that is all we have for you today on Mantis Eye. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs>